Hello, and welcome to Paddling Place in Florida. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we are on our way out to our first Camp and Paddle episode, and we will be at uh, Silver Lake Campground. And it's like 60 miles or something like that from where I'm at. So we are all loaded up, heading on down the road here, and we'll see you when we get there. Welcome to Paddling Place in Florida. Hey, I'm your host, Mr. D. Let's get this thing in the water. Now a word from our fantastic sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll free at 866 866- Two six two nine zero seven six. Hello and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. Hey, I'm your host, Mr. D. Today we are out at Silver Lake Campground for our first camp and paddle. Now, I was going to have all kinds of other stuff set up, but this particular site is not conducive to set all that stuff up. I had the shower enclosure, I had the porta potty and its enclosure, but there's no tree branches close enough for me to string those up. And fortunately, the bathroom is like 100 feet, 200 feet away. So it's not that big a deal. So on the next camping paddle, if the site that I'm camping in has those low branches and stuff like that, that I can sling this stuff from, then I can go ahead and do the reviews on the uh, solar shower from Advanced Elements the uh, advanced elements uh, inflatable shower enclosure and also I've got a pop-up uh, restroom facility that I could actually set up here but bathrooms are so close there's no reason to set it up I got everything else set up uh, the kayak is inflated and ready to go tomorrow now I went ahead and put on the uh, spray skirt and not that I'm going to use it tomorrow because it's going to be 68 degrees when I get up. So unless it's choppy out there on Silver Lake, I doubt if I'll use it. But I'm actually using it as a snake guard. Uh, I've got it up there. It's all installed. And then I've got three clamps that close it shut. So no critters can get inside tonight because this is the wild out here. And this is Florida. There's all kinds of weird things. In it, and it's, it's crazy. Uh, coffee pots set up. Uh, lanterns bug guard uh, all that stuff is ready ready to go now uh, we're going to be going down to the dock and the reason I selected this site the dock is just literally right there so I can take the kayak down through here and then put it in the water so it's kind of be uh, it's going to be really cool so you can see my location where I'm at this is the first time I've had the Napier tent up uh, it did take me a while to set this thing up. I got here at uh, roughly uh, 1.15. When I got to the site, I went down and I talked to a few people, met some people. So I probably got started on this about quarter to two and I finished at 3.30. So that took me a while to put this up. So I may be looking at some other avenues to uh, pop up a, a tent site. So, hey, we'll see you in the morning.
And here we are, guys. We are on Silver Lake. The sun has just rose just a few minutes ago. And we are uh, going to head it on underneath Highway 75 Bridge and pick up the uh, with Lacucci. Well, you guys, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, this is the paddle day of the Camp and Paddle segment, and we are right now out here on Silver Lake, and right after Highway 75, which is the bridge that we're going to go underneath, the lake turns into and continues the Witlacoochee River, and that's where our target zone is for today. So... Stay tuned. I uh, hope you have some fun. I'm looking for a great day. We'll see you in a bit. Now, what you're hearing here is Highway 75, and it is a main artery for Florida, and that's what I heard all night at my campsite. So I was not really a happy camper there, buddy, let me tell you. But, hey, it's all good. I wanted you guys to hear that. It went on all night. And, uh, hey, there you go. Well, hey, guys, uh, we've been out on the Witlacoochee now for a little bit. As you can see, I've deployed my quad camera floating tripod, and that's kind of really cool. That's a lot of fun. I can get uh, some really cool shots doing that. But so far, the, uh, the paddle's been awesome. Uh, there's not much to Silver Lake. That's more of a fishing lake and a transition point where you can go from uh, one end of the, with the Lucucci which spills into Silver Lake. One thing I learned right away is that the um, with Lucucci kind of spills in and created Silver, uh, Silver Lake. And then at the end of Silver Lake, it, the with the Lucucci continues. Now, you can tell here by, uh, look, it's a pretty wide section, but I've been on parts of the width of Lacucci that are really, really, really narrow. But, hey, it's a, it's a great paddle. Uh, brackish water, typical Florida. This is not no uh, pretty uh, super clear water, but it's a great paddle. Well, I broke my own rule this time, guys. Um, I rarely ever go downstream with the current. Uh, when I first start paddling, but today uh, I didn't even know until I got here and started doing time the paddle. So anyway, guys, hey, we're having a great time out here. Uh, not much wildlife. It's funny, I can see the water line. Uh, let me turn this around and have you guys see it. You can see how much the water has dropped. You can see the water line right there. Uh, and it's just, it's amazing how far down that's come. It's got to be a good almost five feet. So this thing was up for a while, but you can definitely see that water line. But it's an enjoyable paddle. Uh, the current's not bad because I'm in the wide portion of the river. Uh, if I was in the narrow portion of the river, I dang sure wouldn't be going downstream uh, right at the beginning of the paddle because I have to paddle back up and I'd have to paddle against that current. So. Uh, that's the rule I normally use, but today I really didn't know which way the current was going to be. So anyway, guys, hey, uh, enjoy. Hope you enjoy this video, uh, the first episode of Camp and Paddle. It's been an experience. I've learned a lot. I know what to take, what not to take now. Uh, I will be changing out the tent uh, because I'm not mobile. Uh, the Napier tent that's in the back of my truck is awesome, and it works great, but it once I'm set up, that's it. I can't move. So if I have an occasion where I have to take the kayak down to a boat ramp and it's not close to where I am, then, you know, I have to break camp and all that kind of thing. So we're looking at a Coleman right now. Uh, it's an eight-person tent. It's probably too much, but that's okay. <laughs> I like Taj Mahal's. Uh, we're looking at that. Uh, it's got some really good features in it that uh, interests me. So I'm gonna look more into that once we get back. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm gonna get rid of the Napier tent if I've got one where uh, I can camp right on the, the river and uh, then the Napier tent makes sense.
but if I'm in an RV campsite or a large campsite and it's not directly along the, the river or it's not accessible to the launch area, then that's where the standard tent comes in. So, hey, I'll probably own both and that's okay. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Well, hey guys, our episode today is being sponsored by AirKayaks.com and Advanced Elements. Now, AirKayaks.com uh, worked a deal out with uh, Advanced Elements to make a limited edition um, advanced frame kayak, and that's it sitting over here. This is the AE 1044DSXL. Now, it's five inches longer than the standard sport and the standard advanced frame. Uh, they added the drop stitch floor. The pump comes with it in the basic, uh, on your basic order. You can only purchase this kayak from airkayaks.com. So my thanks goes out to airkayaks.com and to Advanced Elements. They are great sponsors, super people. We'll be back in a bit. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our first edition of a Camp and Paddle. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this particular campsite, unfortunately, is alongside of Highway 75. So if you are gonna come down here, just bring earplugs and everything else would be great. Facilities are great. Uh, restrooms are phenomenal. The boat ramp is, is excellent, easy access. And then you can either paddle up uh, Silver Lake into Crooked River, with the, which is the upper end of the width Lacoochee, or you can do what I did, is go underneath Highway 75 and then paddle downstream. And I went to, uh, I think it's called Old Iron Bridge, and went there, messed around a little bit, saw a few deer out there. Uh, it was actually an excellent paddle. Uh, the facilities themselves are, you couldn't ask for better. I mean, they're all uh, white stone gravel, um, pads and it's RV full hookup they do have tent sites uh, primitive tent sites available and there's three different campsites in this uh, particular area and I'm gonna before we leave uh, even though I'm wrapping up I'm gonna drive through those get some footage of those and uh, and stuff like that so hey we'll see you on the next one well guys, the uh, Silver Lake Recreational Complex was actually pretty cool. They had uh, a lot of things to offer. They have three different campgrounds. Uh, one is the Crooked River Campground has 23 non-electric tent only sites. Uh, the Silver Lake Campground also 23 sites all full hookup and the Cypress Glen Campground which has 34 sites which is full hookups. Uh, all of these sites are excellent. Um, everything about this place was nice except on the Silver Lake campground side. It was parked right alongside Highway 75. Not a good thing. Hi, me and my sister, we're gonna get ready to get all the pictures and video.